Welcome to the Cebu Lady Lawyers Association's Partners in Law. Magkuyog na po ta sa usa ka oras nga mahinong danong diskurso sa balaod ug mga importanteng issues sa katilingban. Ako si Attorney Genevieve Cabradilla. Kauban usab nato karong gabhi una sa unang higayon ang atong higala ug kauban sa profesyon, Attorney Mitch Zozobrado. Good evening Attorney Mitch and welcome to the Cebu Lady Lawyers Association's Partners in Law. Good evening Attorney Jen and of course good evening to our televiewers. Sa atong episode tonight, ubanan kita sa atong espesyal, mahinong danon, a very good friend and colleague in the legal profession, somebody from the Cebu City Prosecutor's Office. Tonight with us is Prosecutor Liwilin Bunghanoy. Good evening, Prosecutor Lai. Uh, Attorney Mitch. Welcome to Partners in Law. Good evening, Attorney Mitch. Attorney Jen, good evening. And... Nakuyawan ko sa introduction ni Mono kay you made mention nga special. Mas mao gyud imong gisuryaan ni Joyce ni inyong gid siya pagbantay-bantay mo sa host sa CCTN because they will make use of words para mas soften daw ko. Kay ako kunong i-wave ako on talent thing ko dito ko ganahan na na Joyce. <laughs> Dige ako gindawaton na ako ang five figure nga talent fee. <laughs> nakuyawan mas daan na this attorney oi wa ro ba ko nang andam. Oh nga no no ba lang mo ya basa andam na jud ko mo daw sa akong talent fee. Pero to atong giingon no nga special mahinong danon. That's oh. right. This okay. thank you so much for accepting our invitation. Oh, It is okay. our honor to have you here tonight as we talk about a very relevant and timely and especially controversial topic yes. which is cyber libel. But yes. before we proceed, Fiscal, allow us to get to know you more first. Kanang, you are from the office of the prosecutor's office, Fiscal, right? Yes. How uh, long have you been in the service of Fiscal? For, I've been a prosecutor's, a provincial prosecutor's office of Cebu for six years, five, five years already. And then pre uh, previous to that, I was a public attorney of Pau Cebu City for six years also. Wow. Have you tried uh, private practice also, fiscal? Uh, immediately after passing the bar in 2009, I went into practice for six months only. Oh. And then I applied for Pau Maunatong from there, from Pau six years, and then six, uh, close, to five, close to six years also with the prosecution. It's so, where you feel your heart belongs. Yes, yes, yes. Beto, public service, gidi ay ang mm. um, calling, calling prosecutor yes, yes. lai fiscal. But so far, fiscal, maybe you can share with us on sa ang mga challenges, especially no with this pandemic. Kanang naapiktuhan ba ang serbisyo sa mga fiscal? At first, uh, there was a problem na no kay when when the pandemic broke out. Ang problema lang dyan mo is, uh, we have to conduct our hearings online, mm -hmm. video ko, ano niya usahay, hinilagi ang taon, -taon atong signal. So, mag-break-break -break ang signal. And then, ang problema man good, if, even if the connection with the court is good, mm -hmm. and sa, sa mga lawyers, mm -hmm. how about our litigants? Kana itong mga kliente in town, nga why internet? Mm -hmm. So, how do you do that? So, mauto at the very first uh, few months siguro, mauto ang challenge sa uh, uh, prosecuting cases. But, at, uh, but, we transitioned back to having our litigants in court na, so okay. nibalik na siya. That's good, Fiscal. Mm. So you are, you belong to the frontliners team, Fiscal, no? Not only the medical, those in the medical profession, ang frontliners, even you in the, the office of the prosecutors. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Kaya nga, no, walay hunong ang pagservisyo. Yes, walay hunong. Mm. Oh. And you hop from one place to another? Uh, in terms of court? In terms of? Yes, uh, akong assignment karon is in somewhere south, mm -hmm. uh, I appear there for twice a week. Mm -hmm. Then I also have my court appearance somewhere at the north. Ah, okay. Area. But how about inquest fiscal? How do you conduct inquest proceedings? We do it online. Online, online. okay. Yes. But uh, lately fiscal, it transitioned as into physical inquest? Uh, what happened, we still mm -hmm. continued with online inquest. Lang ta. Okay. And I think it's uh, better for our police officers kay for the pandemic broke out, ang mga lagyo in town mga police station sa OBP Cebu, no? So, all over Cebu province, and then one high lang in town sa Cebu City just to conduct our inquest. So, nakanindot sa online inquest, we do now inquest using Videocon. So, mas di na kinahanglan mo add to ang mga litigan sa Cebu City, mustay na lang sila sa station for the conduct of the inquest. I see. So, in a silver lining, naasad yes, siya yes. positive side. Yes, that's right. That's right, no? So, 
thank you so much ninyo fiscal no mm. sa usa ka sa mga public servants nato and grabe ang inyuhang pagserbisyo pagalagad sa ato mga katawhan so welcome welcome thank you so now dili na siguro na to dugayo na nga nailaila na atong guest attorney Mitch we should proceed with the discussion no sa ato ang topic karong gabhi una Yes, Attorney Jen, since ang atong topic is very timely again and very controversial, daghan jud ang interesting nga uh, makahibalo about this cyber libel. F Prosecutor Lai will be discussing to us this topic, especially nga uh, daghan ang gustong makahibalo, what really is this nga para maka-avoid ta uh, dili ta maka-commit aning cyber libel, aning a crime. And of course, we would know when we're already a victim and what to do on that case. That's so, right. Prosecutor Lai, please enlighten us kung unsa man good ning cyber libel. Okay. So, a little call lang ha. I will call you by your first name. Sang ha, aron lang oh. anong tag free-flowing ato ang discussion. Ha? Okay. 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 Lai. <laughs> so, do away with the fiscal okay. and attorney lang na kay aron simpan na atong free-flowing atong discussion. No? So, uh, ang very first question siguro na, what is cyber libel? Mm -hmm. Ang wag it say categorical or explicit definition sa ato ang balaod because it's not there. Mm -hmm. Ang governing law sa ato ang cyber libel makuha na nato sa Republic Act 101075 ug gitawag po din nato og Cyber Crime Prevention Act of 2012. Mm -hmm. Kung imo nang basahon, bisa pagbalibalihon pa na nimo imo pakli imo ang cyber crime law, wad you kay makit-an og definition diha. Asa ang question is, asa may mo makit-an ang definition? Now a Republic Act 10175 punishes libel mm -hmm. committed through the use of a computer system or any device which may be uh, invented later on. Mm -hmm. But ang reference, uh, def the definition of libel has already been made under sa ato ang re revised penal code, mm -hmm. particularly 353 in relation to 355 of the revised penal code. So if we combine 353, sa ato ang revised penal code combine that with the definition of, and on the, the on the punishment of libel sa ato ang republic act 10175 mm -hmm. mao ni ang definition of cyber libel and for purposes sa ato televiewers ako lang nagbinisay on ha sige okay so ang cyber libel kini siya ang publiko mm -hmm. o malisyoso nga pagbutang-butang sa usa ka tawo o pwede krimen mm -hmm. pwede og bisyo uh, depicto, pwede tinuod na o dili. Mm -hmm. Or pwede po nung usa ka binuhatan, um, kondisyon, or ang dili pagbuhat sa usa ka butang, o kini nakapadaot sa reputasyon sa laing tao. O ang iyahang gigamit sa imuhang uh, the perpetrator, ang iyahang gigamit ani kay ang computer system. Mm -hmm. Computers, laptops, cellphones, tablets, etc. Mm -hmm. So mauna ang definition of Cyber libel. So, if ang libel lie, gi commit not through computer systems, yes. how do we call it? It's, it's still called libel. Mm -hmm. Ato ni mo siya ipanish sa revised penal code. Okay. Article 353 in relation to 355. Now, be very careful. There is a difference between the, the medium mm -hmm. nga gi commit sa cyber libel o ang medium nga gigamit sa Article 353. Because sa cyber libel, the medium there is computer system. Mm -hmm. These are devices nga capable of data processing. Mm -hmm. Cellphone, ana. Sa very specific ang um, means or medium nga gigamit sa libel under the revised penal code. Nani na po ka book, if I can remember correctly, let mm -hmm. me just count. no? So na ay print uh, writing. So what? Print, newspaper. Mm -hmm. Na ay lithography. Um, radio, na ay engraving, na atay uh, theatrical nga exhibition or cinematic exhibition and any other similar means. Mm -hmm. So, kwanda juga dito, you are limited to those na po kabuok sa libel ni mo. Outside of that, oral defamation na ka. Okay. okay. So, for example, no, let me get an okay, example. Sige, Fiscal. If I defame you, Mitch, ming nunti ka nga what what defamation do you want me to hurl against you? Nagwapa ko. Oh, oh. Di mo na defamation. Go na. Sige na lang. For the purposes, sa discussion na lang. Sige, mo post ko. Mo post ko sa Facebook. Uy, Mitch, 
Gwapa lagi ka. I'm assuming ha, this is all, this is defamatory in character. So where do you charge that? At to ka cyber libel because okay. he is using cell phone and he post niya sa Facebook. Okay. Okay. What if gi defame ti ka ningot ato ko sa radio station? Ningon ko nga, oy palihog ko ako yung take over sa radio program ninyo be. And then ako i-broadcast. Ako i-broadcast. Oy si Mitch gwapa ni. And that is defamatory in character. Radio with the use of radio, that's libel mm -hmm. under revised penal code. What if mugamit ko og amplifier? Adto ko you're familiar with amplifier no basic yes. mga oh, oh. rich kid mo. Kailan mi? Kailan mo bar amplifier? Okay. Okay. Yes, okay. okay. So if I use an amplifier, to cause public, ah ningon ko ang nagisibya na ko sa nagisibya na ko sa amplifier si Mitch guapa. Uh -huh. Dili sa pwede sa cyber crime because it's not a uh, it's, a, it's not a computer system. Oh, yeah. Dili po na siya sa ordinary libel because it's not those 10 ato na mo siya i-charge sa oral defamation. Okay. Same sa revised penal code gihapon, but oral defamation. So, klaro ka ayo to. Klaro ka ayo. So, Ganaha ka i-defame na po tika? Aha, later lang. Later, later lang ang defamation. Na-defame na mga ka. Oh. Pinakagwapa, Jud. Oh, and so next time mo defamation, pinakagwapa si Jen. <laughs> Thank you so much. No. So, for the first time, nahi mong defamatory remark. Ang guapa. Ang guapa. guapa. Here mm. only. <laughs> so, supposedly, ang batigang. First time. Ito na klaro mo nga, dili to defamatory. Ah, dito defamatory. Example na to. Example na to. So, lai makalimot yes. masyado oh. ano talaga ka lagi so klaro ka ayo to no nga only ka tong give enumerate ni lai nga mga akto para ma constitute nga ordinary libel yes. under the revised penal yes, code yes. and sa ato mga social media posts adto musod ang cyber libel yes that's correct um, basta computer system or any devices na considered na computer system yes. mao siya ang cyber libel di ay that's right so Kanang, pwede ka maka-share lai og mga kaso nga imong naatubang nga naresolba na ba siguro pwede ra pud nga pertaining to cyber libel uh, para mas maklaro sa atong mga viewers. Gamay ra diri sa Provincial Prosecutor's Office mm -hmm. no but I have let's let's talk about na lang those nga na sensationalize sa uh, media are you okay mm -hmm. with that? Nga mga examples. Mm -hmm. Yes, mas mas makarelate Mas makarelate ko nang atong mga televiewers, okay. Ang pinaka first na guilty of cyber libel was last year. Remember mo atong uh, there was a Sangguniang Bayan member somewhere in Mindanao nga iyahang ka inkwentro ang former town mayor during an election and then he made a Facebook post ningon siya nga kaning atong kining usa ka mayor involved ni siya in murder for hire. So iyang gi-post dito of course, ang follower atong or supporter atong uh, mayor nga gidi fame mm -hmm. took a screenshot of the post unya gidelete dayon sa katong nag-post gidelete na within minutes iya ding gidelete pero naka screenshot na ang, ang mga followers. So nya and immediately after after deleting the screenshot after deleting the post they change pa gitag name mm -hmm. para dili kuno niya Dili siya ma-identify as the one who posted the defamatory imputation. But the, 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 the trial court there in Ingon nga, the fact that you posted a defamatory character, mm -hmm. bisan pa nag ng gitang tang later on, and bisan pag imuhang gi-change ang imuhang account name or whatever, mm -hmm. the fact that you made that is considered cyber libel. So, na-consummate na ang crime yes. by the time nag post siya, yes, yes. regardless kung gi-delete siya later mm. on. Do you think, Fiscal, na atay challenge in terms of determining the identity of the perpetrator? There is. Labi na yun, no, sa cyber, uh, cyber law or, or, or sa cyber libel. Mm -hmm. Kay it's easy for the perpetrators nga ihiay nilang identity mm -hmm. by deleting. Mm -hmm. Or even ka ng simple denial lang, di ba guna ako? Or mm -hmm. may ngayon sila nga uh, ka ng, <laughs> oh, nahak mo guna ako ang phone or, or akong account, yan laing mo yung nagpost. Yeah, it's easy to deny that. Uh -huh. So, ang the when Republic Act 10175 was enacted and implemented, the NBI uh, the NBI was tasked to create a cybercrime unit para lang jud to identify or to assert to identify how to identify these perpetrators which are using during during the commission of cyber libel mm. uh, so bisan fake accounts di ay pwede gihapon ma identify kung sino yes, ang yes, yes 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 mm, well great. we will know more about those details no of 
possibly how to deter this mga cyber posts mm. kay gatoo sila nga just by mere denying or changing your Facebook name for example mawa na dili na ka mahimong liable sa imong gibukat but later na after we have our short break Comprehensivo, exclusivo, exclusivo, veterano. Ang gawad tanglaw awardee for best anchor of the year. Ang bonito sa radio na sa TV na. Batuki ang COVID-19. Tulog kahugna sa COVID. COVID sa ilong lang, vitamina C, kasagaran walay hilanat. Asymptomatic, walay simptomas. COVID sa tutunlan, katol ang tutunlan. Panahon sa kaayuhan o sa kaadlaw, paglimog-mog og init na tubig. Medyo init ka tubig ang imnon, paracetamol kung may hilanat. Vitamin C, B-complex. Kung grabe, nagkinahanglan na og antibiotic. COVID sa baga. Pag-ubo o kakutas, sud sa upat na sa lima kaadlaw. Vitamina C, B-complex, limugmog og init na tubig. Oximeter, paracetamol, oxygen cylinder kung grabe. Gikinahanglan ang daghang tubig. Ehersisyo sa paghinhawa. Estado, nagikinahanglan ng muadto sa ospital. Imonitor ang level sa oxygen. Kung muabot na gani o 43, gikinahanglan na ang oxygen cylinder. Ayaw itago kining maong informasyon alang lamang sa imong kaugalingon. Ipaambit kini sa imong pamilya o mga higala ang papakigbatok sa COVID-19. Hatod ka ninyo ning istasyon. Please visit us at www.cinecebu.com. Cine Cebu, connecting communities, creating connectivities. Welcome back to the Cebu Lady Lawyers Association's Partners in Law. Ganina na hisgutan na nato kung unsa man di ay ning cyber libel o atong i-differentiate sa uban pa nga mga libel under sa revised panel code. And earlier, si Lai ni share na og usa ka kaso about aning cyber libel and I think napailain nga mga examples or masayt nga kaso si Lai nato. Yes. Uh, ang pinaka controversial siguro nga cyber libel case which is still pending on in the Court of Appeals is the Maria Risa nga cyber libel okay. case. We are all familiar. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. We are all familiar of the several cyber libel cases nga ihang gyud bang mm -hmm. So as a little background um, there was a warrant of arrest issued against Maria Risa for cyber libel. Three days after sa iyang pag-arrest, 
she tweet are you are you on twitter yes oh. she <laughs> tweeted a screenshot of a 2002 philippine starring article mm -hmm. wherein that article tagged a businessman linking him to alleged murder no so ngayon ang gibuhat na no? for example after uh, mag role play ta after i was for example you are maria risa okay. 3 days after your arrest you took out your phone you searched the name of philippine star article mm -hmm. found the article linking this businessman to murder imuhang git tweet and you put a caption ang caption if i may quote the caption that he wrote she wrote she wrote ta, uh, quote here's the 2002 article on the private businessman who filed the cyber libel case which was thrown out by the nbi then revived by the doj hashtag hold the line mura ginay ihang gibutang sa iyang caption my question to you jen based sa iyang screenshot ni screenshot na siya and then he made that caption do you think there is probable cause for cyber libel Ningon siya, here is the screenshot of the article linking him to murder. Mm -hmm. Is that libel, cyber, is that considered cyber libel or not? So, uh, mo opinion, ha? Akong opinion, like, uh, yes. Yes. Kay nga, no, there was a, it was already malicious. There was, there was a reckless re disregard of the truth and okay. falsity okay. of the, of the article okay. she posted. That's for me. Jen, how about you? For me, kay wala ko'y makita nga malicious, malicious. imputation, dili siya libelous for me, kay yeah. she's merely stating mm -hmm. na there is this article mm -hmm. linked to her about yeah. murder. Mm -hmm. So she's not really stating an exact fact na mao na jud ni siya, wala mm -hmm. conclusion. Actually, that's very good point, no? Or ako na ba nag interview <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, okay uh, good. Uh, At the hot spot na. Nindot ang imong ang imong argument is the argument of Maria Risa. Ang imong argument is the argument of the DOJ prosecutors. Ingon sila. Are you familiar with the Dicini case? Yes. Are you familiar with yes, the Dicini yes, case? Yes. Okay. So, as a little background sa itong televiewers, no? Sa, in 2012, gain ang 10175, daghang kini question on mm -hmm. its constitutionality. Mm -hmm. That's right. In 2014, nigawas ning Dicini case, it's, it's an in-bank in decision sa Supreme Court upholding the constitutionality of cyber libel. Mm -hmm. Pero na yung mga rest ato nga iyahang gi... gi declared as unconstitutional. Mm -hmm. But particularly sa cyber libel, ningon siya, okay lang ang cyber libel, constitutional na siya, but when it comes to aiding or abetting the commission of cyber libel, that's unconstitutional. Okay. Here is, ningon ang Supreme Court there, if, except with regards to the author of a libelous statement, if you make a knee-jerk reaction, such as for example, mo like ka, mo comment, mo subscribe, to a, to a libelous post, you are not supposed to be held liable. Liable. Muna yung ni Maria Risa, how can I be held liable na ako raman yung tweet ang screenshot sa article tagging this businessman involved in murder. Mm -hmm. So, you are familiar with knee-jerk no? reaction? What's mm -hmm. the background? When you when you go to a doctor, unsa may reaction ni mo when a doctor iyahan ng anawan ni mo hang ni? Mm -hmm. You make this and this, without thinking a movement uh -huh. sa imo hang ni, that's knee-jerk. Uh -huh. The same with liking with the yeah. same with liking subscribing or commenting on a libelous post mm -hmm. usually when we read a libelous statements of mm -hmm. facebook oh, di na kita magunahuna actually yeah. knee-jerk reaction na ginato like right. comment subscribe oh sana, i'm sorry share. like share uh -huh. share na nato wala ta this is mo nang gingon sa supreme court when you make a knee-jerk reaction to a libelous statement mm -hmm. di ka liable mm -hmm. except if you are the author mm -hmm. mo ning mo ni ang side ni maria risa mm -hmm. ang side sa ang side sa prosecutors nga nag prosecute niya this is not a knee-jerk reaction. Mm -hmm. Why? Because three days after her arrest, he purposely took out a device, mm -hmm. took iyang the search as 2002 Philippine Star article, mm -hmm. iyang the tweet, mm -hmm. that's, that's right. libelous, that's defamatory, na nandiyay intention to injure the reputation of that person. Mm -hmm. So it's still up for, it's still pending, I don't know how the court will decide on that. Dito. Mm -hmm. Pero very interesting, at least, no, sa atong mga televiewers nga, babad sa Facebook, kita, we can also be sometimes guilty. Yes. Anang liking, no, the knee-jerk reaction nga, giingon ni Lai, nga, mo like lang tao without even realizing if we really agree yes. or disagree to yes. the post. And then even share it without fact. Yes. 
yeah. fact checking yeah. kung sakto ba na or tinuod ba na or kinsa ba ang nagpost ana di ba so it, it para sa ato mga viewers kanang ma-erase lang ang atong awareness in terms of that kay sa giingon na nila sa decision sa Supreme Court na nay intention no kay nga nung man na nakay time mura mm, matter yeah. sa siguro ang time from the moment you read the post or you mm. saw the post and then you shared it and then you even posted it in your own walls yes, of yes. Facebook yeah. diba so mo matter gyud ang yes. intent gihapon yes. nakita ra gyud gihapon na so, nakita nga mga preparatory acts yes. na di na siya ma-consider ma nga knee jerk reaction. Yes. Nag-leg work na gyud. <laughs> <laughs> Benta. So katong giingon ni Lai ganina nga kanang muingon ta nga i-deny nato dali ra gid gihapon di ay nato ma-determine kanang di na tinuod ang ihang pag-deny. So that's just the I think one of the mm. most controversial yes. pod. And naparon sa pending pa sa court, court yes. of appeals. Pending pa. Lai. Okay. Uh. So right now daghan bang mga kaso ang nang nga nagpending sa ato ang prosecutor's office for cyber libel. Ako na ibaw an gamay ra gid siya. We have um, it's not in our office ha, but mm -hmm. we have one in Lapu-Lapu wherein ang uh, mga alumni naghimo og group chat and then ilahang gi sa group chat nila hanat. It's mm -hmm. not in a, in a Facebook post. post. Sa group chat ilahang gidaot ang usa ka uh, uh, alumni didto. Mm -hmm. And then later on ang katong gi ilahang gidaot na hibaw-an di sud uh, katong nagdaot mm -hmm. sa iya. There is also another case. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure asa to siya, but the wife of a, the honorable judge was uh, defamed in a group chat also. Mm. So be very, be some pagdit na ni mo ipost in public. Mm. Onya imo lang ng maghimo ka group chat with two three persons. Onya uh -huh. imong dauton ang person mm -hmm. nga dili siya involved sa group chat. Mm -hmm. That's still cyber libel. Okay. Hello, another dissemination. Okay, yes, yes. uh, that's that's the ang element mang sa cyber libel is publicity. Mm -hmm. If you make known the libelous statement to another person, mm -hmm. bahala pa nagdi na ni mo isibya sa tibok kalibutan, mm -hmm. group chat nga wa kay baw ang imo hang gi gi defame nga imo siyang gidaot dito. Uh -huh. As long as imo hang gisulti sa lain tao, uh -huh. that's uh, that's publicity already. Cyber libel. How about kung private messages lang siya lie? Like gi send niya in, uh, send to many Mm -hmm. uh, familiar ka ana lai gi send, send niya sa isa ka person and then send po to another pero individual ang messages ah. private like from one chats. to another ah, this is a group, group chat. chats ma consider ba gihapon siya yes. nga cyber libel yes it's still considered cyber libel bitaw kay murag the element of publicity kay as long as it's there is another person in addition uh, to the perpetrator to and yes. to the victim mm -hmm. that's already public kay ang ato among wrong notion is that Ang public daghan yun. Yeah. No? Diba? 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 Oo, oh, oh, <laughs> dapat di post yun sa Facebook. But it's a very good information yeah. lang. Uh, even chats, mm. group chats, or even private, private duhara mo, pero daghan ang yeah. itong gisendan, uh. ana ang uh, malicious imputation towards uh. another person, then that is still cyber libel. Yes. A, a little caveat lang ha. So, it's still, the case is still pending. So, I don't know kung saan pag rule sa judge, ana. Mm -hmm. So, but be, still be very careful for purposes of filing the case in sa court for the establishment of probable cause. Ay na lang yun. Ay na lang yun. Kaya listen na, ma, mada, ma, makasuhan mo sa court, and then you have to defend yourself. Kap hassle na. Okay. Much better para Much better, wala uh, i-raise. Uh, yes, yes. Take it from the fiscal himself. Kaya nga, no, sila ba yung mo-determine ng probable yes. cause? Yeah. Bisan pa, o wala pa na na-desisyonan ng kaso, pero maka-file ma na ah, dito sa korte. Yeah. And which will lead me, Lai, to ask you, unsa man di ay ang mga penalties ani okay. cyber libel, if na mm. ang gani? Okay. Ang penalty sa cyber libel is gistate siya sa implementing rules and regulations sa Republic Act 10175. Mm -hmm. It's one degree higher sa penalty imposed sa ordinary libel sa atong revised penal code. Which means, ang penalty niya mo range prison correctional maximum mm -hmm. to prison mayor minimum which means ang minimum penalty niya is uh, maximum that's 4 years uh -huh. 2 months and 1 day up to 8 years mm -hmm. ang pinaka maximum niya because this is prison correction prison mm -hmm. ma ma mayor minimum okay. so walo ka tuig ang maximum penalty plus mm -hmm. uh, dinala to i consider no kay 
napagit siya ay uh, fine of 6,000. Uh, let me check ha. Let me... Hey, Pero, taas-taas yung pagsagsaw. Taas, 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 taas oh. po ng 8 yes. years na eh. Basta basta ka-adlaw lang po. Basta ka-adlaw lang po preso. Di ba, nasulayan na to sa ECQ. Beta. Di ka-guwa. Di lalim. Swerte na kay in the comforts of our homes. Pero sa atong prisuhan, unfortunately, taas-taas po ang that was 4 years minimum. And up to 8 years maximum. Kataas. And is that in addition na ay po i-fine? Not i-fine. Minimum of 6,000. And then the maximum amount is to be determined by the court. I don't like this to be determined by the court part. Kay digitagaan ni mo o discretion ng judge to impose the maximum. So I don't know if this will be clarified by how does this one will do. Kay sa original mga good, sa traditional libel, specific magod ang maximum sa imohang fine. But here, sa IRR niya, ang yung maximum amount, it says, the maximum amount is to be determined by the court. So, uh, diha lang ko a little discretion. shaky lang sa, di ko ganahan sa imposition, but who am I to question them, <laughs> di ba? That's the law, man. Oh, that's the law, man. Na. Oh. So, kanang pag-determine sa fine lie kay, it, it, it depends yes. kung the, the, the personality, Yes. The perversity of the defamation. Kung grabe yung kayahang pagdaot sa lahat ng tao, then the fine can be imposed as a penalty. Mayroon siya nga, grabe magkakagrabe pag pagpagpagdaot. For no reason, I can impose a higher fine on you. But minimum lang niya is 6,000. Wow. Aside sa penalties lie, let's say sa civil damages, naapod ba yung maklaim ang victim? Yes. In addition sa imuhang criminal action for cyber libel, you can institute a civil action for damages brought about by the defamation mm -hmm. made by the uh, perpetrator. Mm -hmm. On top na. So, muna, ang nga ilikayan yun ni siya, nga mm -hmm. dito makakumit aning cyber libel. Tinood, kay mapriso pa ka, makabayad pa ka, na kay fine, napagyoy civil aspect sa kaso. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And correct. katong ang giingon ni Lai nga, daghang factors ang i-consider sa korte to determine the fine. So, dili lang ka na 6,000 pesos nga minimum. Mm. Basin feeling ninyo, gamay ra. But, um, have you encountered lying nga ka the maximum amount so far? Wala pa so far. Wala okay. Pa. Right now, wala pa. Pero, since, is it possible lying nga ka nang sabot-sabot nga giingon nila ba or compromise or settlement or pasayloon na lang para dili mapadayon ang kaso? Amicable? Uh, pwede between the parties but it will not preclude the state in prosecuting it. Kaya di magundi siya libel. Okay. So, I will have to differentiate lang ha. Libel can be prosecuted, cyber libel can be prosecuted, the official or not. So, if you are sa ito mga televiewers, no, ato lang ikuan, na yung mga certain crimes sa ito ang balaod nga dili, nga kinahanglan, instituted and initiated sa ito ang complainant. What are these crimes? So, lima na siya kabuok. We have uh, seduction, abduction, adultery, concubinage, o acts of lasciviousness. Those five, kinahanglan ang complainant ang mo institute sa imuhang complaint. Okay? Outside of those five, pwede na bisagkin sa ang mo file. Okay? Now, if ang imuhang cyber libel is an imputation of a crime on those five, mm -hmm. wing on ko, Ah, si Jen na po datong i-defame. Ang sabi gusto na yung out of the five, Jen, ang sabi mong gusto? Abduct. Seduction. Seduction lang. Okay, okay. Out of seduction. Okay, so ito lang. Ito lang sa qualified seduction, no? So, seduction is committed if a female, 12 to 18 years of age, is nice, um, there is a sexual congress through deceit. Okay, that's seduction. Now, if I make this post, and I, ingnon ako, mapost ako, hala si Jen, gitaba ni Vla, no, kuan, ilan yung gibuhat, yung yung ilan niya, that's seduction. I cannot file, you cannot, ang makafile na dyan, o cyber libel, due to, in relation sa kanang seduction na claim ni mo, is only you. It has, di na siya pwede o lying person. Ingon ka, huwa man din rin siya. Wala, for example, daba na ka. Ah, ang mamalay mo file. No, it cannot be. Kaya di na siya pwede ma-prosecute the official. So, outside of those five, let's say, for example, 
ID Nakawa. fame again. Uy, nakawatan ni uh -huh. si bla bla bla. Uh -huh. Okay. So, pwedeng laing tao maka-institute na. Without the assist, without, even if wala pa to ay muhang tagiya. Wala ang private complainant yes. or ang biktima. Yes. It can be filed or instituted, the yes. official. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, katong lima ha, klaro, nga dapat na initiate ang private yes, complainant. Yes, yes. Katong giingon ni Lai. So, kung outside ato, dapat giyo, dili pwede nga magsato. Kaya nga no, na yes. ano man ang, ang criminal aspect, yes, yes. prosecute mag sa state. Yes, yes, okay, yes, yes. pero kung katong lima nga na ay private complainant involved, uh, it's it's up to them kung saan uh -huh. nila ang case. Oh, hmm. Basta oh, sa among prosecutor's office, we will not, um, di, it cannot be prosecuted without the initiative of the complainant. Hmm. Okay, daghan na kay tag na We will <laughs> be right back. Thank you. Please visit us at www.cinecebu.com. Cine Cebu, connecting communities, creating connectivities. Welcome back to the Cebu Lady Lawyers Association's Partners in Law. Ganina daghan na kayo tagnahisgutan, pinaagi sa mga gipang share ni Lai, not just about another case, no? Katong giingon niya nga, uh, Sa Maria Ressa, si Maria Ressa di ay, by the way, sa Rappler na siya, yeah. no? Rappler case. So, just to give uh, an overview, kaya masin maingon ang ato mga viewers, wa may ka-relate anang uh, part. Pero daghan na yun na atong nahisgutan, but we will continue our discussion. Na ito ay gisulti si Lai ganina, ako siyang patiwason. Oh. Mm. Actually, when the invitation was sent to the provincial prosecutor, mm. si Ludovico Cotera, Hi sir, thank you for the uh, delegation. And then, I, I niingon dyan ko ni Joyce, dyan ko, Joyce, ako lang nang ihatag sila. Ayun kayo, kaya ako ako experience lagi of TV guesting. So, ako itang ihatag nilang Marco, nilang Ethel, ako mga kauban po ng mga fiscals. And then, ingon, 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 ingon si Joyce, ayun na naihatag ko, kaya dako ba yung kunong talent fee? Ayun ko ba ba? Ayun ko pila mo na yung talent fee? Ayun siya nga, five figures. Ayun ko, di, o sige, di na ako ihatag, ako nilawato na, ako nilawato na yung TV guesting. So, I am here. So, mga nang siyang niyari dyan ko para... Makadawat ko sa kong talent. Sa five figures. <laughs> sa five so, figures ka talent. Sa matatang ng five figures. Okay, okay. niingon siya. Kung di daw mo muhatag, sayahan ako kuha on. Okay. Ayun, um, <laughs> may assurance. May <laughs> assurance. Niingon siya. Kung di sila muhatag, ato, ariyan ako ihatag. Okay. Ato, muhatag mo. We miss the I fiscal Joyce yes. at Lau. Condolence. And, yes, our condolences to the family. And hopefully, she will be back na, Diri. So, and si fiscal di ay kay Piripod na natong kauban diri sa CCTN. And once again, thank you sa gayo late lai ha mm. ang gidawat gyud nimo ang imbitasyon ikaw gid ay. So pero maningil lang ta ni Fiscal Joyce. Ah, pero doyo ta paningilan. <laughs> well, well loaded man sa datong gabi igit karon daghan tag nakatunan uh, from Lai. Right. Yes, daghan kayo. Pero napamilaing pangutana lai. Oh, oh. Kay sayang ang 5 digits oh, ato yeah, yeah. maximize ang 5 digits. Oh yeah. Asin pa di mapunan malitay siya basta dali ko. Kanang natay gitawag og katarungang pambarangay law. Yeah. Is this covered sa kanang katarungang pambarangay law? Uh, Sadly, uh, I don't know if I term it sadly, but it's not covered under mm -hmm. the Katarungan Pambarangay because 
eh, under sa katulungan barangay if uh, if the crime has a penalty of imprisonment exceeding one year di nagit siya covered mm-hmm. so pwede na nimo siya edit so file sa prosecutor's office and eventually to the court now since ang imong cyber libel has a, max, a minimum penalty of four years mm-hmm. and then maximum pag niya eight so it's outside the coverage of lupon or katulungan pambarangay Kaandi ay no sa ato mga viewers, kanida ang katarungang pambarangay law requires na before you can file a case, dapat mga yung certificate yeah. to, to file, file action. action if it is covered sa katarungang pambarangay. Meaning, the barangay has jurisdiction. Yes, yes. Diba? Pero kaning cyber libel sa giingon na nila, dili na siya kinahanglan og certificate to file yeah. action sa barangay. So, diretsyo na. Mm. So, kanang ingon sila nga mag-abot lang sa barangay o ipatawag uh-huh. sa ninako siya sa barangay, pwede na nga dili na tamo agi, yes. Ana. Mm. And aside from the penalty, no, ang rason po why this is outside the coverage mm-hmm. na po sa katarungang pambarangay is ang cyber libel is committed online. Mm-hmm. So, for example, if you posted the libel statement in, let's say, taga ka, Car car. Niya imo hang gi-defame si Jen, Jen who Taga is Talisay. taga Talisay. So iya hang mabasahan sa Talisay, imo hang gi-post sa car car. So under sa atong katarungan pambarangay, mm-hmm. residents be ang atong mm-hmm. basis. Right. Mm-hmm. So they, they must have the same municipal city or municipality mm-hmm. residing at the same municipality or city para ma-cover siya under katarungan pambarangay. Mm-hmm. But remember, you are from car car and you are from Talisay. Yes. So usa sana siya sa rason why uh, ang cyber libel is outside the coverage na sa toang katawang pambarangay because of this uh, inter cyber space nga ko. Very well explained. Wide ang iyahang mm, yes, coverage wide. sa uh, online postings, yeah. no? Uh, I agree, Attorney Mitch. By the way, lai mo ask ko, kay daghantag mga kababayan, mga fellow Filipinos nga na abroad, mm. and then they thought nga they can get away with the penalty sa cyber libel kay naa sila sa gawas posible ba nga makiha gihapon or ma liable ang kanang tao example ako perpetrator na ako sa Canada mm. and then magpost ko against Mitch mm. in Facebook nga naa sa car car mm. so na ako sa Canada didto na ako gipost and then nabasahan baro ni Mitch or sa nila niya imo siyang gisultian sa car car ba ko nabasahan sa car car niya nabasahan yes it's possible mm-hmm. uh, kay ang if ang venue man good sa imuhang filing of the case depends on any in any of the elements nga na perpetrate ang crime of libel when you read it at car car mm-hmm. that's the time that you were made known of the libel statement mm-hmm. pwede na siyang mahimong venue for your filing of the criminal action even if it was posted outside of the country since wide gaayo ang coverage aning social media or kaning online uh, lie Asa man di ay pwede i-file sa victim okay. ang cyber, uh, cyber libel case? Duha na siya. Residence sa... If I'm not mistaken, ha? Mm-hmm. It's residence of... Kay ang Republic Act 10175 Mangod is silent on the mm-hmm. venue. Mm-hmm. Now, under sa jurisprudence, uh, if I may be wrong on this, but the last time that I, uh, that I read, duha na siya. Residence sa victim mm-hmm. or asa na siya na print or publish. Okay. So if you if you post siya somewhere sa Talisay, mm-hmm. pero nabasahan niya printed and public printed or published or read sa imuha sa Karkar, ato na maka ka it's either sa imuhang residence or asa gi siya print or publish. Mm-hmm. Ah. Asa okay. na siya. Pili lang ka atong duha. So klaro at least na dili limited. Ah, hindi ka limited. Limit mm-hmm. pwede ka asa nga option kay. It could be man pud nga Although, taga car car siya, pero at that time nga nabasa niya siya Cebu City. Mm-hmm. So, it's either in Cebu City or it can be in car car, yes, yes, yes. ang venue sa pag-file sa yes, kaso. Yes. Okay, pero considering nga na ako sa Canada lay, can she still prosecute the case? Yes. Nga bisang na ako sa Canada? Yes. See, sa ato mga viewers ha, especially nga na outside of the country. Ang mm-hmm. issue lang anin niya is mm-hmm. how does the court later on, acquire jurisdiction, jurisdiction over mm-hmm. your person. Kaya naman kasagawas. That's right. Uh, yeah. So, dili ko ma-arrain. Kaya naman makus ka na. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. so, Pero igulit niya sa Pilipinas. Igulit niya mo. Mag-uwat uh-huh. na lang. Mag-uwat na lang dito dito. Nanay nag-atang. Nanay nag-atang. Uh-huh. May banda. Na, na-apod siya. Pauna din na ang nag-atang inuod na ginay mo sugat sa airport. Okay. So, good luck na lang. It's either di inakaganahan mo balik sa Pilipinas or magtago ka kay the victim can resort to other actions, no? Towards the against the perpetrator so thank you for that live
Okay. Now, kanang we said, no, we talked a lot about Facebook posts or even Twitter kaning mga malicious imputations. How can we distinguish cyber libel sa cyber bullying? Or okay. if there is a distinction? Uh, basically, no, ang Ang bullying is defined sa, I forgot the Republic Act. Um, bullying is defined as the use of uh, words or uh, electronic messages mm -hmm. in order to inflict or attempt to inflict physical or emotional abuse sa other person. Or even if wala kay intention or attempt to inflict physical harm, you created a hostile environment against that person. Usually, cyberbullying, when I grew up, 99, 90s kid, mga gitong taong ko, kaning cyberbullying, wala pa ni. So, ang type of bullying na to sa una is physical bullying. Sukmag, lukon pa ka diri sa kuan, nag-abot ni mo sa sekulahan, mo na siya ang klase nga cyberbullying. But, ang Karon, it's already. That's the type of bullying. But karon, with the advent of of, of social media, mm -hmm. cyber bullying nata. Mm -hmm. Now, so the the kung scope sa cyber bullying, it can be anything that you you do in cyberspace. So pwede ni mo siyang exclude sa inyong group chat. Mm -hmm. Imuha siyang daotun dito sa inyong group chat. Mm -hmm. Ino ni mo sa patao ni mo siya o matingnang or whatever. Or mm -hmm. you send a personal message to her to to the student. Imo siyang ibully. Okay, so uh, it's also a form of I don't know if it's a form of cyber libel, no. But na ay na ay mura o line nga nag intersect or nag converge ang cyber libel and cyber bullying. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is uh, uh, because bullying can be defaming that person mm -hmm. for the purpose of creating a hostile environment. Right. Uh, uh, so, na actually like divergence of, na like gamay nga divergence on the definition of cyber libel and cyber bullying. Mm -hmm. okay. And as also, uh, so cyber bullying, um, be very careful, there is already a law na mandating the all uh, primary and the secondary institutions mm -hmm. to monitor bullying. Now, if you will be, if you if you are the subject of cyber bully, the mandate sa to ang balaod is it will be reported to the school principal or any school officer who will make an investigation. And then after investigation, if maingon ang school principal there is cyber bullying, mm -hmm. report na ka sa law enforcement agency. Institu mo, administrative proceedings will be held against you. Pwede kag suspend sa skulahan or and third mahitabo is tawagon pa imong mama. Kay unsawa na, i-reprimand na. Ayan, tawagon pa ang mama sa biktima uh -huh. for conference. Yes. How about kung privately i-message po sa culprit ang target sa cyberbullying mm -hmm. lie? Mm -hmm. uh, iyahang awayon privately nga, bati kay Kagnaw, kay mm -hmm. Talent, ay napag-adto sa sulahan, buho ka. Buho ka. Ma sulod ba na siya sa cyberbullying? No. Dili na kay wala na may element of publication. Okay, sila I mean, ang nag... cyberbullying siya, pero di siya cyber libel. Ah, that's not cyberbullying. Mm -hmm. So, when you... Sa, sa kanang imong situation, if it's a one-on-one -on -one communication mm -hmm. between the bully and the bully... The target. Bullied, or mm -hmm. the target, not covered in the cyber libel. Okay, wala na publication. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you can be held liable for bullying. Pwede kag... Even you can be held liable under Republic Act 7610. You caused mm -hmm. acts of child abuse against that person. Kung child pa na siya, ha, mm -hmm. if it's minor. Ah. So, so pwede siya. Lagi ha po'y liability, is, no? Maski liability. private. Kay ba, ang ubang kampante na kayo, ha? Private ah, no. legal message mm. without na ako. Mm. So, okay na siguro. Dili, di ah, ay. Dili, gihapon. Eh, kung di man siya cyber libel, pwede siya cyber bullying, mm. and pwede sad siya sa mga other na laws na yes. ma, ma apply Yes. Bitaw kay, um, cyber bullying can be done or committed publicly or pwede sad na kamo lang duha. Mm. Ik, mm. Ang victim ra ang nakahibaw mm. nga, gibully na da'y siya. And, the perpetrator, of course. Yes, yes. Pero, with that, no, sa case nga gisight, or example nga gisight ni Mitch Lai Kai, that was private, no? Yes, yes. So, walay publication mm -hmm. involved, so delete cyber libel. However, if there is publication, na ang elements tanan sa cyber libel, mm -hmm. and then, at the same time, there is bullying, mm -hmm. can there be two crimes? Yes. Filed Pwede. against? Okay. So, uh, as long, if, for example, if you make, 
mabuli ka, mm-hmm. pwede ka cyber libel. And then at the same time, if, if that, kung imuhang defamation or defamatory statement cause the child psychological abuse or psychological injury, injury pwede pa ka ma-charge for child abuse under Republic Act 7610. Ang di lang pwede sa itong balawad according to the, I don't know if, if, it's, if it's alleged in the Disney case, di ka pwedeng mag-cyber libel and libel sa revised penal code. Di na pwede ha, kay double jeopardy na na siya. Okay. Ah, na siya. So, di lang ka pwede. For example, if I defame you once, charge me under cyber libel only or add to ka sa uh, 353 sa revised okay. penal code depending on asa ka gusto or asa applicable but not simultaneous. Pero kung lahi itong nga media ang yang gigamit sa katong yang gifile nga libel case okay. under revised penal code, ya yeah, lahi sad nga media yang gigamit para sa cyber Same libel content? Pwede, Same content. Okay. Uh, if ihranggiri copy? Uh, let's say nagpost siya sa social media, same content and okay. then same sa yahang gipublish sa newspaper for example. Mm. Ah, okay. That's a very good question, no? So Okay. I think if you if you are merely copying the libel statement, mm. I think you have to choose one. Okay. Uh, for me, huh? that's only my personal opinion because mm. I have to go on. But for me, if it's in the same libel statement, you will copy from one so, from the social media and then it's a print. Mm-hmm. I think it's only one one intent. Because uh-huh. 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 it's just libel. It's still the same libel. Uh-huh. Pero ang ang means lang git nga uh-huh. The same uh-huh. ra ang uh-huh. disseminate no mm-hmm. na malicious right. yeah. nga oh. statement. But we we we're yet to wait kung na amang gani kaso oh, no oh oh let's see basta oh, oh, i may be wrong basta oh. dai pwede gid ai uh, oh, so no? i may be wrong so uh, wala pagi ang uh, aside yeah, yeah. yeah. sa supreme court nga nga na nga case pero i think in the perspective of lie in case na i duha ka kaso nga mo i-file sa imo ha nya ikay mo rule imo ha yung determination is only one isa lang yun mm-hmm. okay Kat because in in reference to the decini yeah. case nga yes. decision which which also makes really a lot of sense oh. no kay mara kung imo pong subton na ang elements para sa double yeah. jeopardy so possibly pud so kana siya no murag kaning daghan gyud ng mga nahitabo na ana mm. karon i think even kita mitch no as private uh, prosecutors or practicing privately no pra- private practitioners na yung mga mo consult nato nga mga cliente mm. especially this pandemic nga uh, daghang king uso kay online chikahan mm-hmm. no online chismis <laughs> online na chismis high tech na <laughs> oh oh no kanang um i we thought nga confident na ka nga di ka magsigi gawas-gawas di na ka libakon di ba pero in reality what ta kay baw sa social media na ati ay and so, kaning cyber libel mura ni siya online chismis <laughs> nya cyber bullying online nga pagpangaway oh yes tinuod and napakailain ng mga i-share siguro like uh, prescriptive period ay oh prescriptive uh, so, period very important mm. so ako na i-cut short ha prescriptive period wala gid say definite wala pa siya jurisprudence on mm-hmm. what kay na nani issue na again with Maria Risa mm-hmm. kay na two views on the prescriptive mm-hmm. period ningon si Maria Risa 1 year lang mm-hmm. ningon ng DOJ 12 year, uh, 12 years mm-hmm. okay so i hope I would love to discuss pa jud unta no kay nindot kining discussion 1 year versus 12 years but uh, time constraints uh-huh. uh, so kinala ko mabalik for my talent yeah <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. So, right now like ang prevailing is the 1 year no 12 years ago uh, well okay. so ang 12 year prescriptive period was the justification of the judge sa cyber libel case mm-hmm. nga gi-convict si Maria Risa. Mm-hmm. I'm not not convict but there there is I don't know if, this, if that's the same cyber libel case but mo iyang gi-justify mo iyang gigamit nganong pwede pa mapasakaan si Maria Risa mm-hmm. sa iyang cyber libel mm-hmm. bisan pa og nilapas nag 1 year. Mm-hmm. Ah. in her case gi-delete man to niya no ang yes, application. Yes. Ah, wala niya katong tweet tweet katong tweet wala. Oh, I think Dito wala wala to niya gi-tweet. Gi-delete sa Philippine Star but what yeah. yeah, niingon ang businessman katong yang kita uh, nga i-delete na and then ask for public apology wa siya ni uh, uh, public uh, public uh, publicly apologize mm-hmm. i don't know if it's still there but uh, money ya hang stand pero basta naa pag gihapon ang publication continuing pa man gihapon yes, ang yes, offense yes. line so right now ha di na mag confident because as lie said 12 years 
ang ni travail karon nga prescriptive period meaning within 12 years from the time nga gihimo ang cyber libel pwede pa ka ah. but not dili pa na siya final it's mm -hmm. still up for the decision sa uh, either sa trial court or the supreme court kwa pagid siya ay uh, question pa na gi question pa na nilang mayon isa ah okay so let's wait for that basin sa pagbalik po ho ni Lai uh, na ano na itubag six figures nga pangutan. Nga pangutan. Six, six figures na inigbalik <laughs> pero i think really very interesting discussion karong gabi una sa timing sa kayo karong oras sa ting chismis po drone uh, di ba kay na naka sa inyong mong kwarto hala nag catch up na ka sa mga conversations. So, it's also a good time for us to know about the cyber law. Yes. Any last message for to the, today's episode? Uh, Duhara Jud, mm -hmm. uh, think before you like, before you comment, before you share something. Think lang Jud. And then, although wala pa yung jurisprudence made by the Supreme Court on, on the issue of Maria Risa, but mm -hmm. Uh, it's ha lisod at ubango ng mga kakaso na naan na sa court. Mm -hmm. And since kibawan naman ta, sa, sa mga televiewers nga nananaw ka ron, kibawan naman mo unsay effect if you make this libel statement, just exercise restraint lang. I know you have the right or you have, you have the freedom, we have this freedom of expression, mm -hmm. you want to express that. Right. But be very, very careful in exercising that right. Kay... Um, it's a little kuan karon. Um, I don't think I want to use the word strict, but um, dagang issues ani nga cyber libel. Mm -hmm. um, be careful lang, be careful. And sa mga estudyante, cyber bullying, no, no. no? So, sa gibuli, uh, stand up for for yourself. Sa mga, sa mga nang bully, you need help. Sa mga witnesses around them, uh -huh. you know, do not stop this bully mentality. If you see some, someone is being bullied, stand up to him because that bully will be reminded that he is not going to be And that kanang, kanang gibuli, she is empowered to stand up for himself knowing that he stranger who uh, stood up with him or her. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's right. So, maunurun ka ayo ang message ni Lai na Worth to. 15k nga ano. <laughs> <laughs> Worth the 5 digit talent fee. Thank you so much Lai. Thank Pero welcome. very very nice message. How about Attorney Mitch? Any last message to our viewers? Uh, for me, it's better good nga mag careful ta, especially on social media exposures kay ang negligence ra ba dili na siya pwede nga mahimo na tong scapegoat para dili ma liable for the offense or the crime. And with this, kaninga law, dili lang ni siya nagtabang para sa mga victims, also sa culprits. Mapahibalo ang culprits kung unsa di ay, or possible nga may mong culprit, unsa ay ang ay i-avoid para dili na niya buhaton. Ang victim po, makahimo siya o protection or uh, defense sa iyahang kaugalingon once nga mahitabo ni siya sa iyaha. Thank you so much. Attorney Mitch, for your message. Ako said no, Kai. I think for me, I'd like to dwell on. Sometimes we feel so righteous, no, and we feel nga dapat yun ni nato ipost kay para to inform the public mm -hmm. or for people to be aware kung unsa ning tauhana. But I think if kana you want to post something which is you think is right, pero dili di ay when you are asked when you are in a situation to choose between be, being right or wrong, being right or kind. Choose to be kind. Kaya nga no, those words that you may say, especially sa online no, mapapas na ni mo yes, but the trauma is already there. And it's possible, it's already in the internet. It's already in the computer system. So, ma-recover agad niya siya in the future. Lisod, i-delete ang dira sa social media or sa mga computer systems or softwares because possibly nga permanent na na siya dira. So, I would also like to thank all the staff of CCTN for your warm accommodation na mo. To Sir Nilo, Sir Dave, and to Ferdi, and especially to Tatay Dodong Linchua for allowing us to be here sa 
Cebu Lady Lawyers Association. To all our televiewers, thank you so much for joining us sa usa ka oras nato nga diskurso o nanghinaot mi nga sa umaabot pa nga mga simana o mga panahon kad kanunay og padayon mo nga mo suporta kanamo og mo tan-aw para mas daghan tag makatunan especially sa mga balaod o mga issue sa atong katilingban. Daghang salamat once again to our guest this evening, Attorney Lewilin Bong Hanoi from the Office of the Prosecutor and of course, Attorney Mitch Zizobrado. It is really my pleasure to be with you tonight. Once again, this is Attorney Genevieve Cabradilia. Have a pleasant evening. And this is Attorney Mitch Amistad Zizobrado. Have a pleasant evening. See you next week and have a wonderful, productive week ahead of you.